Hey folks, this is immigration attorney Hassan Abdullah here in the San Francisco Bay Area and I'm preparing this video to discuss the topic of how to determine if a university in the United States is accredited. And by accredited, I mean recognized by the U.S. Department of Education. Now, I think this video may possibly garner interest from people who are not necessarily interested in immigration. But, of course, the context of this video is going to be um, centered on the topic of immigration. With respect to H-1B petitions, for, which is a non-immigrant worker visa status, and I-140 petitions, which is a petition to get the uh, foreign worker here on uh, a petition their green card, basically. Uh, well, not basically. It is. That is what it is. Um, so let's get right to the thing, the, the, the issue of, which is probably of interest to people who are not just necessarily interested in immigration, but also interested in how do you check accreditation. And then after we show you how to do that, uh, what I'll discuss is how and why that's important and relevant to H-1B and petitions and I-140 petitions. Just a heads up, it's very, very important. It's very important for I-140 petitions. It's not very important or as important in H-1B petitions. So let's, uh, without further delay, um, I will show you how to determine accreditation of a university. So let me just move the camera and we will do a test case. So let me just see, calibrate this with the camera so that you can see it right and I think that's good enough we can, check, we can just check out the website now this is a US Department of Education website the database of accredited post-secondary institutions and programs the link to the website the actual uh, URL to the website is ope.ed.gov slash accreditation spelled a c c r e d i t a t i o n slash search dot a s p x so let's do a test case here i don't know um, let's see and i don't want to show a non accredited school i'll let you discover that on your own if 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 you want to check on a school that you're suspicious about but um because I don't want to bring any defame to any school. And besides, uh, a school might go from a non-accredited accredited to accredited in the future. So I'm just going to show you how, can you, how you can figure out uh, a school if a school is accredited. So, hmm, let's see. Uh, maybe you can check Yale. Is Yale accredited? Hmm, let's see. Yale University, New Haven, Connecticut. So the agency that granted them, them an accreditation is the New England Association of Schools and Colleges uh, Commission on Institutions of Higher Education. Let's check that out. So you click this and you should get a pop-up. So here's the pop-up for the New England Association of Schools and Colleges Commission on Institutions of Higher Education. Now at the bottom here we have a link to the accreditation body. See, we're not done yet. Yes, we do know that Yale has been accredited by this body since 1929. But we don't know if uh, this body itself is recognized by the U.S. Department of Education. So we've got to click here. And then we can see colleges and universities. So we click there. And right there, as you can see, the commission is recognized by the U.S. Secretary of Education as a reliable authority on the quality of education for the institutions it accredits. And we're done. Um, the U.S. Secretary of Education heads up the U.S. Department of Education. And uh, this verifies for us um, that it is recognized by the U.S. Department of Education. And therefore, the accrediting body is official and the school is therefore um, duly accredited. You have nothing to worry about if you go to Yale. <laughs> okay. That was kind of a joke. Anyway. 
So <clears throat> what about the issue of H1B? And so that's the process. You understand the process and how to do it, where to go. Now, what if the school you went to is non-accredited or the accreditation body that accredited the school is not recognized? Then what happens is you need, you, you're going to have a problem at the I-140 stage. So if you have a labor certification that's approved, um, you can get the, it'll get approved even if you put a non-accredited school in the application for the labor cert. But then when you file the I-140, USCIS is going to deny your case. Bottom line, no question. I don't think not much more needs to be said about that um, because they look into those things on the I-140 stage. H-1B is a little bit of a different story. I've known people to get uh, go to a non-accredited school, but we still try the H-1B, um, and USCIS generally lets it fly. I mean, it, it does fly with USCIS. They don't deny the H-1 in such a case. Uh, now, is this a guarantee? No. But I'm just saying, as of this date, April 25th, 2012, okay, in the past, I've seen USCIS, in the recent past, I've seen USCIS approve such petitions. Uh, so the person went to a non-accredited school, that is their degree, they filed the petition, and they approved it. And that saved us a bit of trouble because otherwise we would have had to qualify the person to have a bachelor's equivalent based on um, experience and expert letters attesting to, to their expertise in the field. So that's a little bit more difficult, but I've done that a few times myself and never had, so far haven't had a problem in, in that situation either. Knock on wood. But that's it. There you have it. So. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.